<laughs> so here's how this is going to work. We're gonna spin the wheel three times. The first time it will have a variety of hook sizes on it. The second time it will have a variety of yarns on it, including all weights, all textures, all craziness. And the third time it will have a variety of project types on it. And no matter what combination I spin, I have to work said project with said yarn and hook size. This is either the best idea I've ever had or the dumbest. Here goes nothing. I don't know why I'm really nervous about this. don't even know what to say. All right. <laughs> oh no, that's gonna be the worst scarf ever. First of all, Making a scarf out of t-shirt yarn, even with the right hook, sounds awful. <laughs> oh man. So making a scarf with a 3.75 millimeter and t-shirt yarn? <laughs> there is literally no way. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, we'll think about this. The scarf is going to be really stiff. There's no way around it. I don't think this is gonna be a usable scarf. We'll see. There is no way I'm gonna make an entire scarf like this. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> How long does this have to be? Man, if you thought t-shirt yarn was hard to work with, with a normal hook, <laughs> Try using a 3.75. Like, no, seriously, humor me. If you have t-shirt yarn in your stash and you have a 3.75 millimeter hook, do me a favor. Just make a few chains so you can experience what I'm experiencing right now. You don't have to make a whole project because that's just crazy. But at least try it. Do I, uh... Do I have to make it like a real scarf length? Cause I feel like this is all I could bear. <laughs> all right, if I, if I don't want to double it over, we're getting there. <laughs> oh, this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. I'm testing out an idea for the stitch pattern. Honestly, not even sure what that is. I think it's probably where the yarn over fell off my tiny hook because this is awful. Anywho, when you have a really long chain like this and you're kind of just testing out the theory of a stitch pattern to see if it'll work, kind of a little ninja trick is just to work a little section. So if I am flip the work, this is what I saw initially. I made a few stitches and then I just turned in the middle. And that way it lets me know that, yep, this is stiff as a board and this would be an awful scarf. Since the idea of making a normal scarf, we'll say, one that's long, that can be wrapped around, it's just not gonna happen. 
with this hook yarn combo. So now I'm thinking more along the lines of a decorative scarf, an accessory scarf. I, I don't really know what they're called, <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So this will be, I guess, more of a cowl than a scarf. Maybe I'm cheating a little bit. Maybe I could make it a long scarf. I don't know. Here's what I'm thinking. Right now, I've got just a short chain and this would be joined at the back and then create a chain and make another row of stitches and a chain and another row of stitches. So three rows of stitches and then braid them together to make like an accessory looking scarf. So this is kind of what I was talking about, having three separate strips and then you braid them together, you know, like a braid. And that's the current idea. But my hands are absolute toast. So this is going to have to wait until tomorrow. Remember when I said that making a cow was probably cheating? Well, it's definitely cheating. Fortunately, I realized that before I added that third row. But now I need to frog the entire thing even if it kills my hands in the process. Laundry room. <laughs> Are you seeing where I'm going with this? I am going to wash this t-shirt yarn. I have a sweater bag and I think I'm just gonna throw it in there and see what happens. Obviously that's going to contain so it doesn't get all wound and wrapped up and basically kill my washer and my husband would not be thrilled with me. <laughs> So we're going to avoid that, hopefully. I'm really nervous about that. I don't know why. I'm really afraid I'm going to break the washer. I asked my husband if it was a terrible idea. He said it was okay. As long as I knew how to work the sweater bag. <laughs> Which he helped me with. washing the yarn was time well spent. It made this yarn, I mean, it still sucks to work with, <laughs> with the tiny hook, but it made it significantly better. I'm not having to work quite as hard. You know, it's, it's a lot more manageable. It's a challenge. It's not supposed to be easy and it hasn't been. <laughs> really, you know, like everything, right? You, you start a project and you want to have it finished the same day. Well, that just really wasn't doable in this situation. I thought that it would be doable because, you know, it's chunky yarn. You can usually finish a chunky yarn project in the same day. But I it just, I don't want to kill my hands. And this is not easy, so I'm having to break it up into several days. Look at all this fuzz. This t-shirt yarn just sheds like crazy. This is all the t-shirt yarn we have left. And we now have three finished rows to our scarf. So I should be able to get one more row out of this one, but it's going to be incredibly thin. Fortunately though, the thing that's going for it is I made it really, really long. So even though it will be a little skinny, I should be able to wrap it a few times to make up for the loss of width. So what do you think? Should we retire the wheel? Should we do this again? Obviously not with t-shirt yarn on the list because that was awful. But if you found this entertaining at all, I will most certainly do it again. You have to let me know that in the comments though. Otherwise, I have no way of knowing if you found this funny or interesting or otherwise helpful. Also, don't forget we have some 
awesome tees at behooked.com. I'll have the link to where you can do that in the description below. Thank you so much for everyone who has already made an order. Now I have to be completely honest. Will I wear this scarf ever? No, <laughs> no. As hard as I tried, this is just not a functional scarf. It's far too stiff. It's not warm. It doesn't really do much in the way of um, being an accent piece. I don't know. But was it a fun experience? Absolutely. I mean, I don't necessarily recommend crocheting a scarf or any project really out of t-shirt yarn with a 3.75 millimeter hook. Absolutely awful experience. But I will say that stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something completely different, you should do that. If you are in a situation where you kind of just lost some inspiration, you're falling out of love with crochet, do something crazy and different and off the wall and something that you would never ever do. And even if it doesn't turn out, I guarantee you'll have fun in the process.